Blackwell, and today I'm side by side one of my favorite Carnegie Hallin, yes, oh. yallin, rockin, and rollin, and common bookin, and ass kicking, and weightlifting Broadway favorites. Look, everybody, it's Matt Mother <laughs> Doyle. Hey guys, Matt, Hello. tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. <laughs> we're in my apartment with my dogs, which is like I think the easiest uh, interview ever. I didn't have to go anywhere. I woke up, I took a shower, and you arrived. You just rolled your lazy ass out onto your couch. Yeah. We are just chilling. We're looking at comic books. We're getting into it with Jacob and Layla the Dogs. The Dogs. 30 second life story. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock. Okay. And you have to tell me your life story. Don't leave out the awesome parts starting, how about right now? Okay, so I am a mass hole at heart. I was born in Manchester by the sea, yes. That's now a major motion picture. Famous. And uh, yeah, so I'm famous. And then uh, grew up in San Francisco as well. So I've really got the like liberal asshole <laughs> vibe going on. <laughs> um, and then came out to uh, New York after I went to school in London and I wanted to be an actor. 10 seconds. And uh, got Spring Awakening and all my Broadway dreams started. And then they went through ups and downs and here I am. Oh, there you go. <laughs> um, super bonus, what is the name of that autobiography? Oh gosh, um, mass hole. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Picture day. We're in your home. Yes. Do you have any pictures of you when you were little? Just like mother <laughs> adorable pictures of you when you were little? Oh God, I don't oh, think do so. Oh, do I? Yeah, oh, do I? There you go. Picture oh, day. No! Yeah, real, no. she's real. Can you see that? So yeah, I puberty uh, happened and wrecked me. <laughs> I mean, Who's like that guy. I don't know. I like him. Yeah, he was sweet. Uh, I, I and I was like, I was bullied so bad because I when I was in San Francisco, I went to this small small school in Marin outside of San Francisco. So like really obnoxious, like wealthy community. They were like literally the worst bullies in the world and they all skateboarded and they hated art. You know, like art class was like the worst part of the day. And I was like this weird <laughs> future gay creative that they just oh, like went after. I have a message for this guy. I love you. Aww. Your future is bright. Yeah. And those bullies. Yeah, like literally thrown in a dumpster actually happened. I got thrown in a dumpster too. Yeah. Hey. Uh. <laughs> High five on it. What the what, what, what the what? Matt Doyle, you have co-created and are co-writing a comic book. Yeah. What the f what? Okay. I'm so excited. Thanks. But let's dial it back. Yeah. Where did it all start, Matt Doyle? It all Doyle? started, yeah, here. It all started with um, the first adventures of Super Dude and Goo Goo Plucks, because I didn't know what a Google Plex was back then. <laughs> but you like the sound of but the I word? But I liked the sound of the word. I was about eight years old when I did these. Cut to. Dun 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 dun. I'm loving it. Yeah. What is dance. happening? So this is insane. So my best friend and I, uh, Beth Bears, who is an actress as well, uh, we grew up together in California and like fell madly in love with each other. And she knew I was a big comic book nerd. So. About three or four years ago, we were having a glass of wine together and I had had this really weird dream about identical twins with superpowers and told her about it. And over that like glass of wine, we kind of formed this little world together. And I said, well, what do we do with this? And she said, nah, I don't know, maybe we'll make it a TV series or something one day. And then she got approached by a comic book company shortly after that. And she was like, whoa, wait. Unbelievable. Yeah. And we got, we got the deal. We put the treatment together, got the deal, and then... Uh, what does the title mean? Dense. So identical twins with superpowers in this new world dense. have been kind of shut out of society and there's a whole genocide against them and everything. And so it's like the derogatory term against them, that they're dent in the natural world. Look at what you made. I know. The names of the villains, who are they named yeah, after? Yeah, they're named after all of my middle school bullies. <laughs> Seriously, that, like bitch. all of them. Okay, so there's that. And then on top of that, you just made your debut at Carnegie Hall. What the what, Matt Doyle? Okay, so for all of us that won't get to make our debut at Carnegie Hall, Blake, ever in our lifetime, 
What the what was that like? I was so nervous in the days leading up to it, but I w loved Ali Ewalt, who I got to sing with, yeah. who's incredible. She's so talented, and I, I just love everyone involved at, at the New York Pops. They were so warm and friendly, and so the actual day of rehearsal, I get out there, and I grabbed Ali's hand for the first song. You know, we're trying to just, like, practice, <laughs> and, and I'm trying to find the ease, and I'm shaking like a leaf, oh. and I was like, this is going to be awful. I'm going to get out there tonight, and I'm going to freeze. My mouth is going to dry up, all those horrible things that happen when I'm super nervous, and then I walked out that night, and looked out and it was so surreal and overwhelming that everything you ever hope happens, like you drop into it and you just enjoy every second, did. And I mm. had the best night of my entire life. So um, I heard this tale about you that you were doing Book of Mormon during the day, you were doing a reading at New York Stage and Film at night. And um, during the presentation at the end of the first act, <laughs> you just like, Layla, you're killing me. <laughs> oh my God. What the what, Matt Doyle? What the what happened? How did you hear this story? I don't know. I've got spies on the inside. So, so. I, I, I was doing uh, Book of Mormon and I, I got like the summer flu. And I had taken this vacation to go do Brooklyn Night at the, uh, at, it was at Vassar. Uh huh. And um, I was so sick, so, so sick. But I was waking up and pushing through and trying to sing really high notes, like obnoxious Andrew Reynolds notes yeah. that I had created for myself, thinking like, that's impressive. That's sustainable. Yeah, exactly. Like, no, raise it. <laughs> That'll... Higher. Yeah. Higher. Higher. That will <laughs> book me the job. Um, and so I got out there, and there was like this really ridiculous final note of the first act where I just said no on a G and held it for so long. And as I was holding it in front of every, every important producer, every, like everyone, my agent, my manager, every person imaginable was there. I started to just wobble and shake and everything went black. G, 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 and then you went woo. Yep. And, and then what I happened? I fell over. I fainted. I fainted and my co-star like had to catch me, but it wasn't like, did that happen? Like I, I heard fell. It was, I heard it was full music stand, like full, I brought full, go, go, like down. the whole thing went. And then that was the end of the first act. <laughs> we told you this. Ha <laughs> ha. Who else you got? Who else you got in there? You can make a lot of really delightful sounds, but who else you got in there? Any other voices you got in there? Yes. Who else you got in there? I got Norbert. Give it to me. Okay. Sounds perfect. That's what I thought we agreed on. Kathy, if I didn't believe in you, I wouldn't have loved you at all. I would often do like Norbert singing Sweeney, which was always like. How's that sound? <laughs> like, oh, God. Um, these are my friends. See how they glisten. Because he just throws it away. <laughs> <laughs> don't we get to be happy, Kathy? At some point down the line, don't we get to relax? <laughs> Kathy. Celebrities doing celebrities. So you know how this game goes. We uh, call a celebrity in one of our phones, <sighs> and as, but as a different celebrity. Yeah. You're gonna prank call them. Oh, so it. first we have to pick who you're gonna be and who we're gonna call. Well, it should be Norbert. So we should call Norbert oh as my God. Norbert. Oh my God. So this is celebrities, doing celebrities, prank calling celebrities. <sighs> this is Norbert Butts, and we're calling Norbert Butts. You ready? Do you know yeah. what you wanna say? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic message system. Norbert Leo Butts. Is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Norbert. It's Norbert. How's it going, man? Uh, we should go meet the dinosaurs. Norbert. So I was thinking maybe like after I see you in the, uh, the amazing revival that you're about to be in, My Fair Lady, My Fair Lady, Norbert. 
Ah, uh, don't we get to be happy, Norbert? Kathy? Play. He's gonna be like, what the hell is that? He's gonna be like, Susan Blackwell does an amazing impression <laughs> of me. That's what he's gonna say. Um, oh, God. For the record, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh, sorry. Oh, come on. Sounds perfect. Uh. Riff Baff. You are gonna sing me any the song of your choosing, but you have to let no note go on riff. Okay. Well, I just finished Sweeney, and we always joked um, yes. uh, backstage. I love where this is going. Just about what Joanna could be. Please. So just like, I feel you, Joanna. I feel you. I was half convinced I'd waken, satisfied enough to dream you. Happily, I was mistaken, Joanna. <laughs> it's also like boy band bad. I love it. Because it's like a beautiful. It's O-Town good. Yeah, it's like oh, O-Town. Because the melody is actually like a sweet little ballad, and then you throw some riffs in, and all of a sudden we're in the 90s. I loved it. Yeah. Guess what time it is. What time is it? Uh, it's time for Susan's Fantasy Jukebox. Yeah. I got your nose. You can have it back. But first, you got to sing me a song. Okay. Here we go. It had to be you. <laughs> it had to be you. It's like there's smoke in there. I wandered around, finally found the somebody who <gasps> could make me be true. Could make me be blue. Are you getting this, Or even be glad just to be sad thinking of you. Never stop singing that, Joy. I'll keep going. Some others I've seen might never be me. Mm. Might never be crossed or try to be bossed, but they wouldn't do. For nobody else. This has been another amazing episode of Side with by all Side your by faults, Susan Blackwell. I love with you Matt still. Doyle and it Layla had to be and you. Jacob. Wonderful That's you. Nice. It had to be you. <laughs> Golden. You got any um, Amy Sedaris in there? Oh, of course. Amy Sedaris is one of my favorite comedians, and Jerry Blank is, she lives in me. I've had to, like, avoid Jerry Blank at all times in every show that I've done. Because you're just like... If I'm, I think, like, oh, comedy, I just, like, resort to I thought you'd be Jerry. like, I'm doing Sweeney Todd, and I'm, I, I'm playing Anthony, and I was like, I, pitching that to the director. Just yeah, like, yeah. what if it was sort of yeah. had a Jerry Blank flavor to it? Anthony just comes out, and he's like, but sir. 